What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog back with another review, and this time it's on the Saint Seiya Saint Cloth Myth Pegasus Seiya. You can see on the front of the packaging, got the cool art as well as the figure displayed and a bunch of Japanese writing. On the side, it says Saint Cloth Myth Pegasus Cloth. On the back, it shows cool artwork and photography of the figure. It shows the back of him, the front of him. You got the the Pegasus um, cloth uh, all built up, as well as him in his armor. Him with the mask off and mask on, or mask off, mask on, and a nice little pose there for you. The back of the spine says Saint Cloth Myth Pegasus Cloth again. The bottom, the very top, and if you open it up, it has some Velcro right here. You can see the figure displayed with all of his armor pieces or the Pegasus cloth. And there's die cast in this, and we'll just check this out. So without further ado, let's get right into the review. Inside you get two clamshells and a piece of instructions. And this is what they all display like. You get different hands, different pieces for the cloth. And most of the die cast is in here. This is die cast. He's got die cast in his figure form as well as these pieces right here. So here he is out of the packaging and just the figure alone. So we'll take a look at him first. And he's wicked posable. He's got a lot of cool attributes. He has die cast feet for one. And you has die cast up inside here. And I do believe in here too. It's really, really hard in here. So I'm thinking there's a die cast skeleton up in there. Um, plus you can see die cast on the knees and the ankles. And I know it goes up inside here, and we'll show more of that later. You can see the screws going up in through here, too. So I'm almost wondering if it's die cast inside the chest. Uh, he does have posability, as you can see. You can cock the head back and forth. You can look up, you can look down, considerable amount. You kind of have to work with it a little bit, but you can get it to look up. There we go. Um, beautiful face. Looking fantastic, in my opinion. Now, first off, there wasn't any reviews on this figure, so other than in like Spanish and stuff. So, forgive me if I get anything wrong. You know, I don't watch the show, although I am kind of, I've been interested a little bit. But Saint uh, Saint um, Saya Saint Myth stuff like that. So, anyways, but for articulation. He's got a waist swivel. We'll start there. And he can pull his arms out sideways about that far. Go round, of course. We have a bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows that will only go in about that far, but still not bad. He has a ball jointed wrist, so you can exchange the fists. And we'll show more of that. I showed the head of posability, so pretty good at range there. Plus, of course, it will twist on that joint. You get a nice ab crunch for an old school figure. That's pretty good. This, this figure is not new. I know that. <laughs> I'm thinking it might be 10, 15 years old, possibly. Actually, you know what? We're going to check it out at that. So, his hips will go out about that far. Not too bad. Go forward. Just about 90. Go back, you know, about what Marvel Legends give you. You get a little bit of swivel up on that joint. And then you also get the ability to have a, a lower thigh joint. But it's still above the knee. So, Plus you get this ball joint. It gives you a little bit of extra swivel. So you can do sitting poses and whatnot. Especially with the ab crunch. Um, he's got swivel... I don't know if that swivels. No, I guess it swivels down here at the bottom. Right here. And then he can go up. A good amount. Down. A little bit. Good enough. And then he also has the toe hinge. 
And we do have some tilting. So you get some degree of tilting on both ways. So that's the figure looking at the back as you pose them around. Really cool. He's got some weight on him. And we'll take a little measurement of him, what he, what he is when he has all his armor on. Some of scale of him, a weight of him. But you can, you know, you can get him to do some posing. Not bad. Like he's going to do a, a punch or something, you know. Not hard. Not hard to pose him. So, there you go. So he comes with a variety of hands. He has these hands. Fisted hands. He has these hands that you can actually hold things with. Although he doesn't come with anything to hold. I had to make do with this. <laughs> a couple of these hands where he had them. They're armored up. As well as these were armored up. Um, and these hands where he has his hands open. As well as these fisted hands that are actually armored. Unlike the originals which are just skin. And he comes with all these parts. So we have one, two, three, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve. And this breaks into three. So fifteen parts plus the figure. Um, this, this, no, sorry, this, this. And then these guards and then these are all die cast in this guard as well. The rest is uh, kind of like a chrome plastic. This is a chrome plastic. And if you don't want your figure scratched up, don't build them. It's okay to build them into the figure, but don't build the Pegasus cloth if you don't want your figure scratched up. Because it will get a little scratched up. Me, I don't really care too much about that kind of stuff. But you can see little scratches there that weren't there from building the pegasus cloth but not too bad i mean only on one side a little bit over there but it's not like it was very minty mint or anything but um all right so to take care of him and so first you want to do is you want to remove his hair piece so let's get this get him in frame here or not in frame in um you know, looking good. I can't think of the zoom. Ah, I can't think of the word. <laughs> Anyways, you want to... On mine, this part comes off. So, you just want to do it off it's separate. But you can see the little hole there. And there's a little peg there. You just want to line that up inside there. Like that. And... And just line that up like that. And then you can take this after and put it back on. On the smaller one, it's glued on right. So I'll probably glue it on better. But there you go. That's pretty much the first thing you can do. Next, you want to do his feet. So you can take out the die cast parts. So as you can see, it's a hole. And then this is all die cast right there. And you want to put on this leg. Put the fins onto the back like that. Just like that. And then you can attach his feet again. Oop. Just like that. It's a little bit more difficult doing it from farther away. But there we go. And then the same thing on this side. So you take that out. Take the fin. Put it back. Reattach the feet. And we can do the kneecaps, but I'm going to do them. They're, they're a little bit, they fall off sometimes, so I'm going to do them last. And I'll actually show you how to take the ball joints off the hands, too. So you just kind of want to roll it off because it's rubbery. And it, this is rubbery. So it works pretty good. You want to take those off. And you want to use each side. So this goes on his right side, the ones with the two. You slide that up on the back of his arm like that. And then attach his hand again. Just like that. Whoops. Oh, I didn't have it on the back? Well, we can slide it around. There, like that. Boom. Back of his arm. Just like that. Same thing on this side. Take this off, and then you use the one. It's got one spike. 
And you just attach his hand like that. So we're getting there. Next up, you want to take this and you go from the back and there's a hinge and you just kind of move this out of the way by going like that. And then you can open up the hinge like this. And this is die cast, by the way. And as you can see, I was hoping that didn't happen, but mine on one side, it falls off. And it's, it's rubbery right here, so I don't think you can glue it. But you probably could. But it's not too hard to attach it. Just a little peg. And on one side it works, on one side it doesn't. We'll just do that. And then you want... We'll do that after is what I was going to say. And you want this part. This is neck, I think. Right? Yeah. So you want to lift up his arms. Like this. And attach that like this turning it around like that and pulling his arms down and then swiveling the shoulder plates into place. And then there's a little notch back there and there's some notches on the insides of the, you can see the metal die cast. So you would just attach that together like that. It holds securely. And we'll attach this piece. So, like that. There, like that. Boom. Next up, we do his knees. So they're keyed. And you can see it better that way. Let's see. Just to focus. That was the word I was looking for before. And then it's keyed in that one as well. So you got to put them in a certain way. And you just attach the knee pads like that. Flip that one around like that. There we go. And I definitely am going to be gluing that because that is annoying. And it's really light, like chrome plastic. So you want to probably be careful. But yeah. So. When he gets all built and everything, he's he's pretty sturdy once you get his feet lined up right. He's he stands pretty good. Then you want to take this. This is his belt. And you just open it up from the back. Same thing, there's little notches, little pegs and die cast that go in the back notch right there. So you just go around and then attach them in each side. And it'll go in like that. And you get some articulation here in the hinges. I think that's what was getting in the way. Yep, there we go. Attach it like that. And that, and there he is all built up and armored up. And he still retains all the articulation. You can even, uh, this will swivel back. We'll use, I think it's this one that, I can't remember which one's. Yeah, this one. So you can you can get go up because the armor moves around for you. So that's pretty cool. You can go out, do all the same, pretty much all the same articulation. The only thing probably you can't do is bend the hinge up, but you probably could pull it out some and then bend it up. So that's a little trick for you there. Whoops. But I like it nice and secure so it stands right. So, yeah, pretty cool. He's got a die cast belt, die cast chest armor, die cast arm guards, and then he's got die cast uh, knee pads as well as feet and leg guards. Looking at the back of him. So, very cool. I got him on sale, so I figured I'd try out the line. I wish he had a die cast headpiece and that this was die cast molded onto that. But I'm going to glue it on and hope that'll work. You can see some of the paintwork on his hair there. Looks pretty cool. It's brown paint with like outline kind of anime looking. So, this is an anime in Japan. You can see the eyes done really nice. Similar to how they would do a Figma, but this is by Bandai, not. Uh, the Figma companies and then he's got articulation here. You can hinge out 
so it gives them just as much as you need. So pretty cool, very cool. So and dig them. Um, I definitely might get some more. I'm interested in the line. He's even got a toe joint, so you can stand him on his toe as he is right now. I don't know if you can see that, but he is on his toe. See? Heels off the ground. He has a toe joint right like that. So to build the Pegasus cloth, first you remove all of his armor. The way you remove this is you want to swivel these back like that. And then you just pull the hinges down like this, lifting up his arms, of course. Holding on to the front so it doesn't rock around. Opening these up, and then you can easily remove him out of the armor. So now that we have all the armor pieces, let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go. We gotta start building. And I wanna show you something. You're gonna wanna take these apart. So this part, and they're keyed. You can see there's a flat, flat spot on top of the circle there, as you can see there. And then this part, oh, so this plugs. And it has like another keyed part. You can see the little mark there. And uh, he's got two different versions of these. And what I meant is that this one doesn't come off, but it's still built in the same way. I don't know if I'm if it's just not all popped on right on that one, but you want you want to attach that like that, and then you take his belt here and you wrap it around his neck, and then it's got. I'm gonna remove that for now, but he's got a couple parts right there that you want to lock the belt into, just like that, and then. Oops. Make sure you want those out a little bit. Just like that. And there you go. In as much as possible. So there you go. And then you just attach this. Like that. Oop. As you can see, it's split. Oh, that's not good. There. Well, so we have that side done although you do want to put um okay anyway so we'll, we'll put that down for now then next up we want the middle one so i believe it's yeah, we'll just leave that off for now just we want this on where the you want to put the um you want to put it on like this so that the wings, so this is the back, and then the shoulder pads are to the back. And then you wrap it around like this, at least I think. Oh, no, it must be like this, because there's the notches right there. And you wrap it around and you attach those to into that notch, just like that. And then once again, this side came up none. <laughs> just like that and then you want to put his leg armor on and each side is a different one one has a keyed part and one has not but you want to put his leg armor on here and this is the probably the where it scratches up the most like this mm. And you want to be very careful because something because this is very brittle. Um, why is it not giving me? Oh, because it goes this way. Oh, I see. Because I thought it was the back that way. It's because I don't have it all together. You want it like this. I knew it wasn't going together, right? So like that. So the front is this actually. So let's show you again. I'm gonna slide that to the back, the wings on the back, like that, and then put this in like that. So it has it like that, okay? You also wanna take these, and you wanna put this one on the back, and it will slide right in 
like that. And then this one on the front. I believe you do it upside down. Oh yeah, like this. Like this, okay? And then you want to attach, before we do anything else, we attach the wings. And the way these, they slide up on these die cast parts, and one of them's tricky and one's not. Like, see, one works easily. Hopefully this will work easily. Yeah, I was afraid of that. But you saw how I slid it on there, and then you just want to slide this one on there, too. Like that. And then you take these, and you attach them all together. So we'll attach this to there. And then this to there. And then you want to take the, the knee pads. Oh, and, you, and they go up in here. Um, let's see how this works. Okay, so you, you, they're still keyed, of course. Just like that. And the same thing on this side. So you get mostly, most of the parts get used. Like that. Boom. And then last but not least, you put this guy on. And this is a different one, version than the one that goes on his head. If, there. And there we go. We have the Pegasus cloth all built. So, that's pretty much the review, guys. Let me know what you think of the review. Let me know what you think of the figures. If you want to see any more. If you got something to say, leave it in the comment sections below. Subscribe for more toy reviews. And as always, stay awesome, stay subbed, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace, that's a wrap, guys. I'm out.